Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. How are you today? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How are you? You have a good day? More or less. More or less. No, no, it was better than yesterday. Oh, that's nice. Better than yesterday. Yeah. That, yeah, it sounds good. Nice. Well, I have just 17 people here. I see that some of you are not going to participate because you're not feeling well. Some other people is having issues with internet and someone else is not going to connect you to uh, work related activities. But yes, thank you so much for being on time. And also I'd like to thank you because uh, you were sending um, some nice um, uh, teacher's days, congratulations. So thank you for taking the time. Gracias a los que tomaron el tiempo para buscar um, las tarjetitas de felicitación. Gracias, me gustaron todas. Muy lindo detalle. Uh, so we're going to check yesterday's work. Voy a chequear asistencia, aunque solo hay 17. Espero que los demás se unan pronto. Uh, Iris Rosario. Present. Thank you. Isaac Daniel. Jacqueline Liliana. Present. Thank you. Jaime Osvaldo. Jacqueline Vanessa. Jacqueline Vanessa. Present. Thank you, Jacqueline. Jessica Marielos. Present, teacher. Thank you. Jose Samuel. Present, teacher. Thank you. Katia Graciela. Present, teacher. Eh, teacher, only... Voy a estar de oyente. Just listening. Okay, thank you so much, Katia. Okay, teacher. Kevin Antonio. Kevin Antonio. Lisbeth Daniela. Lisbeth Daniela. Luis Alonso. Thank you, Luis. Marcos Javier. Present, teacher. Thank you. Maria de Los Angeles. Present, teacher. Thank you, Maria. Maria del Carmen. Here I am, teacher. Present. Thank you. Maria Lucia. Sorry, Lucila. Maria Lucila. Present. Thank you. And Maria Magdalena. Maria Magdalena. Not here. Marvin Raimundo. Marvin Raimundo. Miguel Angel. Present teacher. Thank you. Nadia Isolina. Nadia creo que era que dijo que no se iba a conectar. Es correcto, teacher. Sí, Nadia. Ok. Oscar Armando. Present teacher. Thank you, Oscar. Reina Yamilet. Present teacher. Thank you. Teacher, Ricardo. good evening. Good evening. Sorry, eh, soy Marvin Pinto. Eh, acabo de ingresar a la clase. Okay, Marvin, thank you. Thank you, teacher. Ahorita lo anoto. Gracias. Ricardo de Jesús. Here, teacher. Thank you. Sandra Amelia. Sandra Amelia. Sandra Elizabeth. Thank you. Sandra Mabel. 
Present, Miss. Thank you. Tania Pamela. Tania Pamela. Vilma Aide. Vilma Aide. Wendy Abigail. Present, Miss. Thank you. Yancy Sarai. Present. Thank you. And Jamie Rosibel. I am here. Thank you. So let's. Um... Miss Jamuni. Sorry? No, no, no. Hola. Sandra Amelia. Sandra Amelia. Okay. Vamos a ver. Mm. Gracias, Sandra. Y bueno, eh, vamos a chequear el ejercicio que quedó pendiente ayer, que por cuestión de tiempo no pudimos chequear las respuestas, pero uh, yes, we're gonna do it right away. Can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Okay. So what do you have for number one? Australia is big, but Canada is Letter C. Letter C. Bigger than. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, en este caso, big eh, cumple la regla de que es una de una sílaba, tiene estrés y lleva consonante vocal consonante. Entonces, en ese caso, duplicamos la G y agregamos ER y luego, pues, of course, dan. Bigger than y luego la otra cosa con la que estamos comparando. Bigger than Australia. So number one C is correct. Number two. A. 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 Yes, that is correct. David is 185 centimeters tall. He is taller than Andrew. Good. Number three, what do you have? B. 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 Better. Better. Yes. Dijimos que, um, bueno, good cambia a better y the best, pues, es un superlativo. No lo podemos usar ahí. Estamos comparando dos cosas. So, better. Number, letter C, sorry. Number two, three, letter C. Letter B, perdón. Ay, qué movie. Number four. My brother thinks this restaurant is worse. Letter C. Letter C. C. Ajá, C. C. Bad es irregular. Dijimos que bad cambia a worse. Ajá, y el dan ya está ahí. Worse than that restaurant. Entonces la cuatro era C. For C. Number yes. five. Do you think math and science are more difficult than B? Are more difficult than B. Ajá, letter B. 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 Cualquiera que tengan duda, levante la manita o pregunten por qué es B y no tal. ¿Ok? Sí, la respuesta correcta es B. Are more difficult than. Estamos mencionando matemática mm -hmm. y ciencia. Son. Entonces el verbo B irá en plural. Are more difficult than English. History and English. And English. Yes. Number six. In my opinion, this pink dress B. is B. B. A. B. A. B. B. Por ahí dijeron A, por ahí dijeron B. 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 Y la correcta B. es B. Porque Peter decíamos Dan. que ¿hmm? los que terminan en Y se uh -huh. cambia por Y latina. Yes, change. Y luego lo agregamos el R y luego el Dan. Prettier than exactly. letter B, the answer. Good. Number seven. This summer was much. Letter C. Letter A. 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 Yes. La diferencia es que hot es uno de esos en los que tenemos que duplicar right. la última consonante, que en este caso es T. Entonces, yes, por eso es A. Hotter than. Aplicando la letra T. 
eh, solo es una letrita, la diferencia entre A y C, la correcta es A. Acuérdense que hay que duplicar en este caso. Eh, eight. Did you know the crossing at this, uh, this street is Ooh. more dangerous than Letter C. Uh -huh. More dangerous than. Letter C. Ajá. More dangerous than. More dangerous than. El adjetivo queda tal cual. Dangerous. Solo ponemos antes more. Luego el adjetivo tal cual. Y luego than. Porque este más de dos sílabas. Dangerous. Tres sílabas. Yes. Ok. Movámonos al nueve. It says Patrick thinks that chocolate cake is letter A is, is more, more delicious than, than more banana delicious. cake. Number 10. Asian elephants are heavy, but African elephants are even letter B. Heaver. Letter B. Letter B. Haciendo el cambio con la Y, ¿verdad? Para I latina, luego mm. ER. Even heavier. Y ya no vamos a poner dan porque ya no hay más que comparar. Ya lo hicimos anteriormente. So, that's correct. Heavier. Siendo B the answer. A la 11 sí ya la habíamos hecho como ejemplo, ¿verdad? So, nos pasamos a las 12. Reading a book with a nice hot cup of tea. Is more yeah. relaxing. It's more relaxing. Ajá, uh -huh. letter B letter is B. more relaxing than doing exercise. Uh, 13, comedy movies are okay, but I think that uh -huh. action movies are better. Better. Este es un irregular, ¿verdad? Yes, no podemos decir gooder, it's totally incorrect. Better. 14, taking a taxi to work. Letter C. It's more C. expensive. Yes. It's more expensive than taking a bus to work. 15, Saturdays. Are nicer a. Than. Letter A. Uh -huh. Letter A. Uh, como está en plural. Ajá. Uh -huh. Está en plural. Dice yes. los sábados. Saturdays. Entonces tiene que ser R. Are nicer than Mondays because I don't have to go to school. And 16, question number 15 was. There are B. There are B. There are B, teacher. B, uh huh. Easier yes. than. Exactly. Easier than. Letter B. Con escritura correcta es letter B. Okay. ¿Cómo sienten ahora? Are we okay? O hacemos uno más, un ejercicio más de este tema. Yes. No más. I think. What do you think? For me, it's okay, teacher. Okay. Bien. Les voy a mandar una hojita que la pueden hacer por si acaso sienten que necesitan eh, repasar un poquito más o tal vez hacen un chancecito en lo que de repente les um, tarda a veces en, en estar listo el otro módulo. Entonces pueden ponerse a practicar eh, con esto. Ahorita se las voy a compartir en WhatsApp. Uh, uh. This, this. Yeah. Ready. Ahí está la hojita. Es, um, ahí hay una breve explicación al principio de lo que eh, vimos ayer, el cartelito de la gramática, de cómo se usan los comparatives. Y hay unos ejercicios luego de eh, la hojita. Esos ejercicios los pueden ir haciendo recordando lo que ya vimos. Y en la segunda hojita están las respuestas. Traten de primero hacerlo ustedes solos. Y luego pues se van a la segunda hojita que es en donde están las respuestas. 
Ok, so, vamos a empezar la sección 4. Here it is. And the topic is, do you like rap? This is the topic. So, um, before to start, let me see. I included some idioms here. Como tenemos esta dinámica de aprender idioms o practicar pronunciación con trabalenguas, para empezar la sección 4 les incluí algunos cuantos idioms que nos pueden servir que encontré por ahí. Uh, what do you think is the meaning or uh, to hit rock bottom? Ahí les puse una frase donde se ha utilizado ese idiom para ver qué piensan. What is to hit rock bottom? It says the sex is how high you bounce after you reach, uh, you hit rock bottom. So what it is? Lo que sea que venga a su mente. Um, no ideas. Algo de satisfacer, algo así es. Mm, no. Mm. What is the meaning of bounce? Bounce es un um, rebote. Tocar Tan fondo. alto rebotas. Yes, exactly. <ríe> Tocar fondo. Ahorita les voy a mandar un video con algunas frases de series o películas donde este idiom ha sido utilizado. Lo pueden ver. Y luego vamos a seguir con el siguiente. Solo déjenme encontrarlos. Here it is. Ahí se los envié ya. Dice. Uh -huh. eh, verdad que quiero ver. Más o menos ha de decir que el éxito es tan duro, tan alto. Después de tocar fondo. Algo así. El éxito es que tan alto llegas o, o qué tan alto saltas después de que has tocado fondo. Yes. Es como que a veces el ah, tocar okay, fondo dije, impulsa a las personas, vea, impulsa hacia adelante, hacia arriba, right? y, y de ahí a veces viene el éxito. ¿Verdad? Después de tocar fondo, que esperamos que pues no sea okay, necesario. <laughs> Excellent. Entonces, igual, ¿verdad? Aprendemos vocabulario nuevo. Bounce es rebotar. Um, and that's it. That's a new idiomatic expression that you can use. Y ahí tienen algunos ejemplos. Yes. Eh, ¿Cómo se pronuncia? Successful. Success. 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 Okay, thanks. You're welcome. All right, let's check the next one. What is, uh, and I, I have the meaning here, aside for sore eyes. Aside for sore eyes. Can you read the meaning, uh, Maria del Carmen? The meaning is the green here. If something. Yes. It if, if something or someone is aside for sore eyes, you are glad to see them. Excellent. Thank you so much. Entonces, ¿qué podría ser un equivalente o más o menos qué quiere decir aside for sore eyes? No idea, but no I idea. think that is for me. <laughs> <laughs> Yo solo entiendo que dice que algunas cosas 
o algunas veces como que hay cosas que a veces no se pueden ver tan fácil con como que simple vista o algo así. Más o menos vamos por ahí que es algunas cosas o algunas personas cuando algunas cosas o si alguna cosa o persona es a side force or eyes es que estás encantado de verlas. Qué alivio para los ojos, ¿verdad? Uh, o un regalo. Ahí les mando el video. <laughs> Teacher, hmm? what is the meaning sight and sore? Sight es la vista. Vista. Y sore es cuando algo duele, está dolorido. Uh -huh. Es como si lo queremos casi que traducir, sería como un um, eh, a sight for sore eyes, una vista para ojos adoloridos. Ahí les mandé el video donde se utiliza esta expresión. Thank you, teacher. Es como un alivio para la vista. ¿Cómo decimos algo que dice asimilar en español? Claro, para los ojos dicen a veces. Agradable. Algo agradable Dichoso a la a vista. Ojos. Dichosos los ojos que lo ven, ¿verdad? Cuando los ojos son dichosos. Ajá. Uh -huh. And that's okay. Uh, ese sería un equivalente para nosotros en español. Thank you so much. Entonces, well, ya les compartí el video. Y hay algunas partecitas de película o series en inglés donde pueden escucharlo. Um, then we have uh, this one. When it rains, it pours. When it rains, yes, it pours. The meaning, Luis Alonso, please. Meaning, the phrase. The, f oh, perdón. the phrase, when it rains, it pours, means multiple negative incident. Incident. Situation, incident. Or situation have occurred. Together. Oh, oh, together within a short time period. A period, aha. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you so much. So, what it means? When it rains, it pours. Many negative things happening in a short period of time. Cuando está lloviendo, está. Y esa palabra. I don't know this. Yes, we have it in Spanish. Lo tenemos en español ese idiom. And we have an example sentence. Tenemos un ejemplo ahí. It's a, well, first. Llueve sobre mojado, lo sé. Yes, it's similar. Es como cuando llueve sobre mojado, ¿verdad? A fulano le llueve sobre mojado o me llueve sobre mojado. O hay gente que dice, bueno, si no me llueve, me llovizna. <laughs> yes, so in English is when it rains, it pours. Y les voy a compartir el video para que, pues, que por ahí practiquen, escuchen. Y de repente, pues, ojalá que no lo usemos muy seguido para nosotros mismos. <ríe> ok, ahí está. All right, that's for today's. Um... Yes. What's the meaning of waiting? Next within. two words together or within. No sé. Within um, uh, es durante, uh, durante. Mm -hmm. Any other question? Uh, together, me dijo también, ahí casi no se distingue la primera letra, es una T, together, es juntos o juntas. Any other question before we proceed to start the section four? Teacher, what is the meaning of born? Burn. Oh, uh, well, first we had the car accident and then this fire burned. Este es el participio de quemar. Es como okay. quemó. Uh -huh. 
quemó la mitad de la casa y luego, ok, yes. Two bad things. Well, first we had the car accident and then this fire burned half of the house down. As they said, como dicen, when it rained, it burns. Okay. <laughs> Uh, okay, so I hope that you have enjoyed this and learning new things. It's good always. All right, so uh, to start the section number four, we have some vocabulary about types of music. And then this is like uh, music sales in the United States is like a survey result. Um, it says uh, like uh, the taste of people in music. So 32% uh, of people likes rock or listen to rock music. 50% uh, other type of music, 2% uh, classical, 100% jazz, 7% gospel, 11% hip hop, 10% R&B, 9% pop, 12% country, and 1% new age. That's um, how uh, people or the type of music and percentage that people consume in United States or shop for. Any question? Questions? Gospel. gospel es música cristiana, alabanzas, eh, este tipo de, de, sí, alabanza sería música cristiana o alabanzas es gospel music. Ok, thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Any other question? R and B teacher. R and B stands for rhythm and blues. Es ritmo y blues como el color. Ah, okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Thanks. You're welcome. Okay, so uh, and then we have the word power. We have to complete the word map. Este ejercicio lo tienen en su material. Es un word map que tienen que completar con palabras de las listas, pero ahorita solo vamos a, a definir el vocabulario. Esto ustedes lo pueden hacer en, luego en algún tiempo que le dediquen al material o a practicar. Eh, tenemos el entertainment, eh, what are movies, TV programs, and music. And we have these words. Tenemos una lista de, de, de palabras. We have action. Electronic, game show, heavy metal, horror, musical, reality show, reggae, salsa, science fiction, sub opera, and talk show. Hay vocabulario nuevo acá? Teacher, what is the meaning of sub opera? Soap operas son novelas de televisión. Novela de televisión mm -hmm. es soap opera. Si decimos novel, nos referimos a un libro, a una novela en libro. Eso es un novel. Okay. Soap operas son las de televisión. Any other question? No, teacher. Okay. Eh, como ejemplo, ¿a dónde ubicarían action? Movies. 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 Ahí iría Movies. action. Uh -huh. Electronic. Music. 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 Game show. TV program. TV program. Ok. Y así sucesivamente van a completar ese mapa. Eh, pues ya vocabulario nuevo parece que solo habrá soap opera. ¿Alguna otra pregunta antes de continuar? No questions. Ok, 
Now we can check the first exercise. It's a conversation. It is titled, I really like pop music. And here we have this conversation and we have the audio program. We're going to listen to it. And after that, we're going to discuss probably vocabulary, pronunciation, and the breakout rooms practice. Let me share the material from the audio. And it is. And the conversation is right over here. Page 23, Exercise 3, Conversation. Who's your favorite singer? Part A, Listen and Practice. Do you like country music, Brian? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Taylor Swift. I think I know her. Does she play the guitar? Yes, she does. She's a really good musician. So what kind of music do you like? I really like hip-hop. Oh, yeah? Who's your favorite singer? Jay-Z. Do you like him? No, I don't. I don't like hip-hop very much. Questions about vocabulary or pronunciation of any particular word or phrase? Musician, teacher, como es la pronunciación? Okay, musician, musician. 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 Uh huh. Musician. 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 Any other question? ¿Cuál es la pronunciación de este kind? Kind. Kind. This one is kind, kind. Thank you. You're welcome. Any other question? Teacher, please repeat pronunciation the Brian on the dice no, I don't esa parte después. No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Thank you. Uh -huh. it's I don't like it very much. I don't like it very much. Mm -hmm. No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Any other question? Okay, I'm going to play the recording one more time. I'm going to make a pause. It after each interaction to allow you to practice at home. And after that, I'm going to create a breakout room so that you can practice in groups with your classmates. See? Page 23, exercise three, conversation. Who's your favorite singer? Part A, listen and practice. Do you like country music, Brian? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Taylor Swift. I think I know her. Does she play the guitar? Yeah. Yes, she does. She's a really good musician. So what kind of music do you like?
I really like hip hop. Oh, yeah? Who's your favorite singer? Jay-Z, do you like him? No, I don't. I don't like hip-hop very much. Okay, uh, remember this conversation is in the material I sent yesterday from section number four. I'm going to create the breakout room so that you can practice with your classmates. Cool evening. Good evening. Uh, Alguien tiene que pueda presentar la conversación. Hola, hola. Hola, bueno, creo que ahora tenemos el grupo. La teacher la envió, si quieren, pues practicamos. Ok, yo comienzo. Yo soy Maritza. ¿Quién es Brian? Me. Va a comenzar, José o Ricardo. Oh. ¿Lo tienen? No. Sí, ya lo encontré. Ok. José comienza. Uh, yo comienzo, Maritza. Okay. Do you like country music, Brian? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I am a big fan of Taylor Swift. I think I now hear. Does she play the guitar? Yes, she does. She's a really good musician. So what kind of music do you like? I really like hip hop. Oh yeah? Who's your favorite singer? JC. Do you like him? No, I don't I don't like hip hop very much. Hoy le toca a Lisbeth y a Ricardo. Ok, muy buen trabajo con la pronunciación. Solo una palabrita que escuché, mis pronouns, que es el object pronoun, her. Her. Ajá. Uh -huh. Her. Her. Ajá. Uh -huh. It's in the... Let me see. I think I know her. Es la segunda I de Brian. I think I can. Sí. Uh -huh. I, I think, think I, I know, know her. her. Uh -huh. here. Yes, excellent. Yes, so okay, you thanks, can continue teacher. practicing. Okay, voy a iniciar. Do you like country music? No, I, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm big fan of Taylor Swift. I think I know her. Does she play the guitar? Yes, she does. She does. She's a really good musician. So yes, she what... does. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, she does. She's 
a really good musician. Mu so, musician. musician. Excellent. So what kind of music do you like? I really like hip hop. Oh yeah. Who's your favorite singer? JC, do you like him? No, I don't. I don't like hip hop very much. Okay. Yeah, solvendo su problema, Sandra. No. No, aún sigo con el problema de los audífonos. No, pero ya se le escucha, ya se le escucha ya bien. Se le escucha ya mejor. Ya no, porque Creo que así me va a tocar practicar. Ok, pero se le escucha mejor así. Sí, pero es porque estoy directa de la compu. Ajá, pero le suena, le suena mejor. Si quieres practique con María. Vaya. Entonces, eh, María. Brian, voy a hacer ahora. Ah, vaya. Eh, do you like country music, Brian? No, I don't. No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I'm a big fan of Taylor Swift. I think I think I know her. Does she play the guitar? Yes, she does. She's a really good music musician. So what? Uh, era, <laughs> kind. What kind, kind of music do you like? I really like hip hop. Oh yeah. Who's your favorite singer? JC, do you like him? No, I don't. I don't like hip hop very much. Aquí hay una parte que como lo dicen bien rápido, eh, en, en el audio, eh, este, es bien difícil de entender. Por ejemplo, yo aquí donde dice Brian, en el primero dice, no, I don't like it. Algo así lo escucho. Uh -huh. No, ah, I don't el... like it. Ajá, en el audio. I don't like it. En Marisa, pero donde dice, do, do you like, o, o al final, do. No, en la, en la primera, en la primera, ah, donde dice Brian, en donde dice, en donde no, dice I, no, I don't like it. I, I, ajá, escucha, así no, es. No, I don't like it very much. I don't like it. Ajá. Very much. Ok. ¿Quieres practicar? Es que sí, ajá. así como lo que estábamos, bueno, el que estábamos practicando ayer también, el de try it. <laughs> Se escucha uh -huh. todo junto. Sí, es un poquito complicado. Eh, practiquemos ahorita entonces. Sandra, voy a hacer Melissa yo. Ah, ok. Bye. Okay. Ajá, empiezo okay, entonces. Do you like, do, do, perdón. Do you like country musical, Brian? No, I don't like it very much. Do you? Yeah, I do. I am big fan of Taylor Swift. I think I know her. Does she play the guitar? Yes, she does. She's a really good music musician. So what kind of music do you like it? I really like hip hop. Oh, yeah. Who's your favorite singer? Jay-Z. Do you like him? No, I don't. I don't like hip hop very much. Ok, muy bien. Sí, musician, ahora lo hicieron más fluido, ya que ya lo practicaron un par de veces, ya esta les ha salido más, más fluido. Eh, sí, es musician y la otra es guitar. No es guitar, es guitar. 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 Excelente, guitar. Excellent. guitar. Wow. Eh, la otra es favorite. Favorite. Uh -huh. Favorite. Guitar. Continue practicing. Okay. Eh, María si quiere hacemos ahora una cada uno me quedé
This meeting is being recorded. Okay, so um, I think everybody's back again. Yes, we're going to continue now that we practice the conversation. We can move on with the grammar topic. Just let me get to the platform. And share with you. Okay, can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes. Okay, so we're going to yes. check the video about the WH questions and yes, no questions with do, which is part of the simple present. So we're going to make this review. I don't listen. Teacher, no se escucha. I don't listen. Okay, thank you so much. Creo que es después que salimos de los breakout rooms siempre tengo que configurar audio, se me olvida. Okay, creo que ahora sí. At the end of this lesson, participants Can you listen now? will be able to ask yes. questions yeah. in simple yes. present yes. using do and does along with WH question words. We will get ready to ask two types of questions, yes, no questions and WH questions. On your notes, please jot down both auxiliaries as we go over them. Remember, we use these auxiliaries for simple present tense in questions and negative answers. Yes, no and WH questions with do. Do you like rap? Yes, I do. I like it a lot. No, I don't like it very much. What kind of music do you like? I like rock a lot. Does he play the piano? Yes, he does. No, he doesn't. What does he play? He plays the guitar. Do they like the Beatles? Yes, they do. They love them. No, they don't like them very much. Who do they like? They like you too. Object pronouns. Me. You. Him. Her. It. Us. Them. Did you notice both auxiliaries? Do and does. Do. Does. Did you notice the changes that occurred when we used the auxiliary in a question for third person singular? Thus, he play the piano. If not, play the video again until you understand it. Keep in mind that whenever we use does, the verb goes back to its base form. Something I want you to understand is when the question being asked uses a WH question word, it means we need more information when answering. In this class, as already mentioned, we're talking about two kinds of questions. Check it out. Do you like Madonna? Yes, I do. No, I don't. What does she sing? She sings pop music. Okay, uh, this is the grammar part. Well, the video that we just saw, it's about yes, no, and WH questions with two, which is part of the simple present tense. And also they mentioned the object pronouns. How do you feel with this topic? Was the video clear?
Yes, teacher. Okay, so. Okay, well, if no questions, we may continue here. And, teacher. Sí? Excuse me. Yes. How do you pronounce U.S. or has? U.S. U.S. Ah, uh, yes, us. 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 Uh -huh. us. Thanks. Any other question? It means what is a lot. ¿Qué quiere decir lot? A lot. Mucho. A lot. As I like kings of lion a lot, me gustan mucho los kings of lion. A saber qué grupos. <laughs> okay, any other question? If no more questions, we can continue and do this conversation. Um, with what we need. Eh, vamos a leer la conversación y ver qué es lo que se necesita para completarla. Eh, ya sea que haya que completar, si es just no question, o una WH question, o necesitamos el object pronoun. Ok, so it says, I like kings of lion a lot. Y tenemos un espacio, you know, y un question mark. Entonces, es una pregunta. ¿Qué necesitamos? ¿Qué do, falta? Do, 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 do you know, know them? Do you know them? Do you know them? them. them. You mm -hmm. know them? ¿Los conoces? Do you know them? Yes, correct. Y así van a ir completando lo demás. Yes, no sé si... I do. Uh -huh. Pueden irlo haciendo en su cuadernito o en sus, donde llevan sus notas. Si tienen impreso el material, lo pueden ir haciendo ahí. Y luego vamos a chequear las respuestas. Sorry, teacher, ¿en qué momento vamos a usar el object pronoun? Eso no lo he entendido muy bien. El object pronoun se utiliza cuando nos estamos refiriendo o indicando quién recae, sobre quién estamos hablando, de quién. Uh, de ellos, a ella, a ti, a él, a nosotros, a ellos. Uh -huh. Thank you, teacher. Okay.
Have you finished or you need more time? I need more time. Finish, teacher. Okay, I'll give you one more minute. Tienen un minuto más. Finish means okay, we are ready to check your answers. Let's see the first part. It says um, we did the first one, right? Do you know? Do you know them? And um, volunteer to continue with part B in this first section. Yes, I do, and I love this song. Let's download it. Yes, that's correct. Yes, I do. I love this song. Let's download it. Very good. Thank you so much for your participation. I volunteer for number two A. Do you like Asian fiction news? Yes. Do you do you like science fiction movies? Do you like science fiction science. movies? Yes. Um, what is the answer? Part B. Yes, I do. I, I do. like it. I like very it. Very much. I like it very much. Mm, escuché it y escuché them. Correcto sería like them. Porque estamos hablando yeah. de science fiction movies. Es plural. Yes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Por eso tiene que ser that, porque es plural. Very good. Eh, sí identificaron que era un object pronoun, pero yes, era para plural, para them. Excellent. So uh, let's move on uh, part, let's see, to B, number three. That's Kevin and Edna like soap opera. Do Kevin. Do. Ah, yes, do Kevin, teacher. Yes, because it's plural. Let's see. Do Kevin and Emma like soap operas? Very good. Now, answer. Kevin. Kevin does, but Emma doesn't. Aha, uh -huh. Kevin does, but Emma doesn't. Okay. Very good. Uh, four. What kind of music? What kind does, of music does Narika like? like Classical music. She loves yo yo ma. And then, yeah, he's amazing. I like him a lot. I like him. Okay, I like, I him, like him a lot. A lot. And that's it. Now, uh, let me check attendance for the last. Uh, solo con los que me faltaron al principio de la clase. Vamos a ver. Kevin Anthony. Lisbeth Daniela. Present teacher. Thank you, Lisbeth. Um, Maria Magdalena. 
María Magdalena. Nadia no se iba a conectar hoy. Bill Maide. Present teacher. Thank you. Los demás están aquí present. Ok, so eso sería todo para ahora. Mañana pues continuamos en la sección 4 y no sé si hay algo que sienten que estaba difícil de lo que vimos ahora que quisieran que agregue algún refuerzo. ¿No? Ni es una consulta. Este, yo no dije presente al inicio, pero tampoco me mencionó. Tania, Pamela. Tania, ¿verdad? Sí, Tania. Sí. Sí. Tania. Sí, la tengo como present. Thank you. Yes, that's great. Thank you so much. ¿Alguien más? Teacher, ¿podría por favor dar un refuerzo de lo último que vimos de las WX Word? WH Words. Ajá, uh -huh. de lo último que vimos, del último ejercicio que hicimos, por favor, es que me costó un poquito. Ok, vamos a reforzar, creo que más o menos andaría por los object pronouns específicamente. O todo. Yeah. Ok. Um, yo creo que todo. Ok, vamos a hacer un repaso entonces mañana eh, de lo último que hemos visto ahora, de todos modos, para empezar la clase y hacer un refresh de lo de ahora. That's good. Uh, lo voy a tomar en cuenta. And see you tomorrow. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Good night, teacher. Good Happy good Teacher's good Day. Night. Thank you so much again. Thank you. Okay, teacher. Bye. Bye.